Nathan, we back out for fight number 13. You superstitious? No. <laughs> no, cool. No, not one of them. <laughs> Dex um, it is. Dex only puts his left glove on first, didn't he? Is he a left glove on first? Left glove on that Well, that's who you just inspired in your stable, yeah. mate. Uh, he's been helping you get ready. Um, this is pro probably the penultimate spa. Um, yeah, last one Friday. And, and we can see the, the bandage on the arm, that's just precaution though because uh, last time out you fought Nathan King which was a... Ethan King. Ethan, sorry, yeah. Ethan King, which was a real risky fight to take because the kid, uh, even though I think he was 2-1... and one, that no? Well, I'm downstairs. Oh, my car that is. Um, yeah, even though uh, he was only 2-1, and one, he was a risky opponent because it was everything for him to gain yeah. and absolutely nothing to lose. And coming back from the serious injury that you had done, um, a very, very uh, brave fight for you to take. And, and even though the scorecards didn't say it, I thought you controlled the fight near enough from start to finish. Yeah, I, I did to be fair. He was a um, good opponent, good, good and strong. Um, and, and he come to win, which ideally is what you want from from these lads. And um, but you know, I, I thought to maybe give him a round, but got the fight won, and um, it was a good win for me. And I, I had to sh I had to dig in because if I didn't, if I didn't do everything right, he would he probably would have beat me. And how did you feel afterwards? Was the no twinges with the arm? Um, no, the arm the arm was fine after it. It's just. I was struggling at, at the time. Probably was a little bit too soon to come back, mm -hmm. um, but we we took the risk. We got the win. Um, couldn't really throw the jab. Couldn't throw any left hooks. So I was sort of like sort of one popping. So I was waiting for him to, to to throw his jab, and I was coming over with the backhand. Realistically, if it was I noticed that actually because it, it worked quite well because. Um you were quite spiteful in there, mm. and, and I think it, 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 it helped you to control the fight because he was a pressure fight, he was coming forward a lot, but he had to start thinking about it because you were landing quite frequently with your backhand. Yeah, yes, so like in an in a ideal world, and if, if, if the arm would have been perfect, I would have followed that up with the, with the left off as well. So, but to get, I think to get that win in the condition that I was in, and I feel, I feel like that's probably one of my best wins, to be honest with you. Yeah, and uh, do you know something? We, we've, I've said it numerous occasions. You've made a lot of tough fights easy. And uh, even though the scorecard didn't say that, um, I, I felt it was a, a, a very comfortable win. Not saying that he didn't play his part, because he was. He was, he was a real good competition. Yeah, it made me think. He was competitive. It, yeah. And I knew if I, if I did something wrong, he was going to gonna catch me. So and I, he was big as well, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I didn't expect him to be bigger than me um, but you know what it was a good win and, and, and all credit to him as well coming yeah. over and into my backyard and as a as a t you know well I think that's what you've got to do isn't it? He, he doesn't care he's um, he's I just looked on he's not fought since you fought, uh, beat him but he has got about three or four fights lined up and uh, I think we was going to get him on our show this weekend, he was going to fight Sonny Taylor, but for some reason it, it fell through, which was sad because I, I think it would have been a great test to Sonny. Um, but back to you, we're back on, uh, we're out a week on Saturday, the 20th, down at the Olympia, uh, where you got a, a local bragging rights because you're fighting, uh, uh, even though he's classed as a heavyweight, he's a small heavyweight, yeah. but Bradley Davis, who's in a bit of a uh, Good current form. Um, he, in fact, one of his uh, first successes was uh, on our show where he drew with Mike McKay, uh, a kid you know really well, another cruiserweight, one of our cruiserweights. Um, I think he put um, Mike down in the, oh, I think it was the third or the fourth round, was it? Not sure, was it? I think it might have been the last. No, I, I think it was mid, mid, oh, mid, mid fight. Uh, it's, it's, it was either third or fourth anyway, um, which was obviously going to make it very hard and it ended up being a, a, a draw. Um, so obviously he's coming with a bit of ambition because no one wants to lose yeah. to someone across the road from him, did he? You know what I mean? And then the fight after that, he went on and picked up his first win. So um, I presume he's coming here with good form uh, and, and wants bragging rights, mate. So yeah, a perfect fight for you. 
Yeah, I think I think I perform better when when they actually come and win anyway. You know, you can only do so much when someone's covering up. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm moving good. Um, sometimes I tend to fight within myself in terms of like don't showcase my skills as I should do in, in when I'm boxing. So gonna. Um, but I think that's gonna change because. Just by talking to you, I mean, I remember speaking to you before the uh, what was it Webster fight. Uh, I know it didn't happen, but you're quite angry, and you're quite because a lot of people are overlooking you, mm. and I don't think you like that. And uh, it's getting to you a little bit, and uh, I think we've seen that in your performances. I think you you're being a little bit more spiteful now and showing people look. I might have no knockouts. I mean, for a cruiserweight, it's surprising. Yeah. You know, you're 12 and 0, and you've got no stoppages. Um, but you have been matched well, you've been matched with good, solid opponents that have all gone on to do well after you've beat them. Yeah, they very rarely get stopped, the opponents anyway, that have fought. And I'm, I'm not asked by knockouts to fucking, someone could have 10 fights, You're 10 not wins. asked, but you are asked. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> fucking, I don't give a, don't, don't care. If I fight someone for a, for a British title and beat them on points, but what's the difference of winning by knockout if I yeah. totally dominate on dominate them on the points. I couldn't care less whether I'm knocking them out. If, as long as they get the win. If this goes as what we were just saying, it's you know, like bragging rights, you know, the kids been competing mainly at heavyweight, uh, had a bit of good current uh, success in, in, in so his current form's good. Um bragging rights, your thirteenth fight, it's, 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 a, it's a good tick in the box if you can pass this with flying colours. Yeah I mean when I was younger, you know it, Box probably did probably box a little bit different and wasn't plant my feet. Um, but now I am, and I, I feel like the, the stoppages will come anyway. But I, I don't go out there like putting pressure on myself to, to put someone down. But you were um, taking a few people out as an amateur, though, weren't you? Yeah, I, I, um, I think I knocked two out as an amateur. Mm. Um, yeah, not two out as an amateur. So it's not not that I haven't got the power. You can knock them out in the amateurs. You can knock them out in the pros. Yeah, I think it's just. The opponents that I've that I have fought um, after the first round when I'm like when I'm boxing well and they know they can they shut up shop they can't yet yeah, they shut up shop um, so it, it is hard you, you punch someone on the top of the edge if you're damaging your own hands yeah. rather than there yeah. rather than them so you sort of you sort of you know well, yeah, it, what, what, what would be the ideal scenario you come through this you move to thirteen and all right um, we, we was looking at last summer um, when you injured your arm. Um, that was hopefully going to be a big fight. It wasn't because the other kid had to pull out. Um, I do feel like if you come through this fight, then you're ready to be back at that stage and, and you want those ten rounds because this is where you you feel you're going to shine as well yeah. over the longer rounds. Yeah, um, get through this fight. Look good doing it. Get the stoppage. Get the stoppage. Get win on point. Win on points, but. You know, we want we are wanting the big fights now in like probably hope to get back out July or Cause, August. Because the cruiserweight is is he's thriving now. Up, yeah. I, mean, I mean there's a lot of just, quality got quality a, kids. We've got, got a lot of fucking authority down now. We've gotta put ourselves in the position where they've gotta take the fights. Yeah. We were wanting um after me last fight, um we were wanting the Videl Rally fight. Oh right. But he spoke with Sky for whatever reason that didn't happen. Um and hopefully when he if he gets through that fight that he's got on the tenth of June mm -hmm. we can we can get something sorted. Right, he's fight. he's coming up, he's he's chatting titles. Um I feel like I should be fighting for titles. So we can get it on. But we've got to get through this fight first. Right, well we'll leave it at that. So uh, March the twentieth down at Olympia, your second boxing home. Um, I've not even mentioned new gym. Yeah, down here at field ABC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, never been here before. Drove past it many times, didn't even realise. <laughs> in fact, I drove past it a few times today. Um, but listen, good luck for uh, March, uh, March the 20th. Hopefully I'll be at March the 20th, May the 20th. Right. And uh, hopefully I'll be saying win number 13. Yeah. And uh, we might even have an idea of what's in store. Perhaps one of those big fights we're talking about. Yeah, we'll do that and something's going to come up after this. So stay ready and, um, and then see what happens, I guess.
Nathan, you take care, mate. Nice one, Lee. Bye.